Today's daily dose of math is about gas mileage. Gas mileage is a value that tells us how many kilometers we can travel based on the number of liters we have in our gas tank. Gas mileage is a value that is commonly given for cars to help you understand how affordable they are. You can get different gas mileage in the city than you do on the highway. A larger vehicle will not get as good a gas mileage as a smaller vehicle. And how good your gas mileage is will be affected by things like whether you're pulling a trailer or if you have heavy items in your trunk. Gas mileage is useful in the Math 2101 Algebraic Modeling course because sometimes we find ourselves working with questions where we're calculating the cost of gas for a trip. In order to do that calculation, we need to know the gas mileage. Here's an example. 24 liters per 100 kilometers is the gas mileage for my vehicle. Now students see this value and they don't like it because it looks like a fraction. And it has two different units in it, the liter and the kilometer. But these are easy things to deal with once you practice a little bit. 24 liters per 100 kilometers can be expressed in more than one way. One thing we can do is divide. 24 divided by 100 gives 0 0.24. And we get an equivalent value of 0 0.24 liters per kilometer. This might seem more useful, and some students would prefer it. I guess the reason it's not normally given this way is to avoid having a decimal in the value. But another way of expressing it is 24 liters over 100 kilometers. I'm making it look like a fraction. And I'm showing that the liters is actually on the top and the kilometers is at the bottom. And this becomes useful later. Let's say we're calculating the cost of gas for a trip from Montreal to Kingston, which is 265 kilometers, at a time when gas is costing $1.21 per liter. Right away, we run into a possible problem. Are we really driving 265 kilometers for this trip? The answer is no. Usually it is assumed that this would be a round trip. It doesn't say it's one way, so that means we're actually going to be driving double that distance. Now this is an easy calculation to do and a lot of students would do it in their head, but be careful. In a math exam, for instance, if you show me that the drive is going to be 530 kilometers, when I'm correcting, I have to say, well, where did you get that number? I want you to justify all the values you use in your question. Here's an opportunity to do an algebraic model. The course is called Algebraic Modeling. We use algebraic models when we do calculations, even simple calculations like this one, which is just multiplying by two. I'm going to express this as an algebraic model. I'm going to define my variables. Let x equal one-way distance and let y equal total cost of gas. That means my model is y equals 2x. I replace the x with the one-way distance, the 265 kilometers. I simplify, which is just multiplying in this case, and I get an answer of 530 kilometers. The real distance for this trip is 530 kilometers, and I used an algebraic model to show how I found it. This is just about the simplest algebraic model you can show. Let's calculate the total cost of gas for this trip, but we'll do it in the form of an algebraic model. I'm defining A as my gas mileage, B as the cost of gas, C as the total distance, and Y as the total gas cost for the trip. Therefore, my model becomes Y equals A times B times C. A is 24 liters over 100 kilometers. The gas mileage in the form of the fraction, the way I like to express it. B is $1.21 per liter, but I also express that as a fraction, showing that the liters is actually on the bottom. C is the 530 kilometers that we got as a result of our more simple algebraic model over here in green. When I multiply these, I want to do some cancelling with the units. 
I like showing the units because when they're arranged properly in the equation, all of the units will cancel except for the unit that you need for your final answer. We have a liters on the top and a liters on the bottom, so they cancel. We have kilometers on the top and kilometers on the bottom, so they both cancel. All that's left is the dollar sign, and our final answer will be in dollars, which makes sense. When we multiply 24 by 1.21 by 530 and divide by 100, we end up with $153.91. This is the total gas cost for this round trip between Montreal and Kingston. At a time when gas costs $1.21 per litre and using a vehicle that's getting 24 litres per 100 kilometres gas mileage. We're able to do this calculation which seemed complicated but the good thing is, every time we do this type of calculation, it will work the same way. With a bit of practice, this becomes easy. And we're using an algebraic model to do it, which is the whole point of the math book that we're studying right now. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.